Now, we regularly feature garden shed inventors who produce a wide range of innovative products. But those of you with keen eyes may have noticed that almost all of these inventors are men. So does this mean there aren't any women inventors? Not so. Across the country, there's a legion of female inventors who are demonstrating the same initiative and original thinking as their male colleagues. Lindsay Fallow reports on the quest to find the female inventor of the year 2000. Hello and welcome to a very special Inventors Plus coming from the Café Royale on London's Regent Street. I'm here for the final of the British Female Inventor of the Year Awards and in an hour's time this room is going to be heaving. A thousand thundering thrills await me, phasing insurmountable odds greatly. This is Squeezebox. This has got popcorn in. Give the box a squeeze. Very messy stuff. If you should drop the box, the popcorn stays in the box. Now, David, it's a bit of a special occasion for you today, isn't it? Yeah. The weight of the world on your shoulders. You are one of the judges. So what's this event today all about? Well, this is the British Female Inventor of the Year Awards. And it's actually now in its second year and has attracted dozens of entries from all over the country. So how many women entered the competition? Oh, there were dozens of entries. Of course, we're looking for all the usual things. How inventive is it? How ingenious is it? And we're also looking for the real commercial angle. I mean, is this product going to sell? Has it got a market? Well, thank you very much. I'll let you get off to your official capacity as judge. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. This is Lorna Roscoe, who has invented the trial style. Looks absolutely amazing, Lorna. Now, why did you invent this? Um, mainly because I'm um, one fair I was colouring my hair and finding out after I've done it that I don't suit it. <laughs> So I needed to find out what I looked like before I did it. Yeah, I think I remember my sister dyeing her hair purple once. She could have done with a bit of a preview. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and what's the next step for you? This is now out in the salons and colleges, so we're getting ready the second prototype, which is a unit for the mobile hairdressers. So it's actually in a small case that they can set round to people's houses with them. Fantastic. Well, very good luck, and good luck with the competition today. Thank you. Oh, she wants to conquer the world. Runaway, and it's a small um, aerosol spray. And what happens is, ladies usually catch their stockings either on the toe or above the hemline. And what you do is you literally spray Runaway over the hole. It puts a clear barrier around the pair, and it prevents it from running up or down the leg. This is Laura Grant, and her invention is the hands-free hair dryer. I did some designs, because I sing in a band as well, and I got hold of the microphone, and I thought, hang on a minute, I can attach a hairdryer at the end of this. So I did some sketches, and then I um, took the sketches to a precision engineer, and we worked on something together. And who's the intended user? Basically, it's everyday living made easier. People with a disability, i.e. rheumatism, arthritis. Broken no, arm. Yeah, exactly. People who still want to make the most of themselves can. I mean, you can... It's so easy to use. I mean, basically, you've got to learn to move your, your, your body. Well, I'm here with Garmini Kumar, who has invented, would you believe it, the non-drip teapot. Now, Garmini, why did you decide to take on such a difficult problem? It was a running joke throughout university. Who was going to invent? a non-drip teapot who'd be the first to do it. So I just thought I'd take the challenge upon myself and try and see if I could do it, and I did. Is it just the teapot? Um, no, it's the actual spout shape that is the key to non-dripping, and I own the right to that shape. So it can be used on any pouring technology, from watering cans, to petrol pumps, to anything that pours. What's the next step for you? The next step is to see the depot and its various applications in the market, see it being sold and used, so I can carry on inventing. Have you got the bug now? Yeah, I've got the inventing bug, I need to, I'm raring to go on the next thing. So David, have you done your judging? Yep, we've come out of our judging huddle, we know who the winners are, and very soon we can announce who is the female British inventor of the year 2000. The female of the species is more deadly than the male. 
Well, this is the winning invention, the Anyway Up Cup. Now, Mandy, what's the Anyway Up Cup do? Well, it's got a very simple membrane valve, and when the child sucks, that valve distorts and liquid comes out so the child can drink. But as soon as the child takes it out of its mouth, the air rushing back into the cup pulls the valve back down shut again, and it seals perfectly every time. So, so you can't spill? No, so, you know, you can take a, a little drink, turn it upside down, immediately leak-proof. Fantastic! Like My cousin does that! <laughs> Well, it's obviously yes. very successful and has won the competition today, but what's the next stage for you? Well, I'm hoping to use the money that I'm making from this um, to develop the new ideas that I'm working on. Well, congratulations. Very thank well done. Very and thank you very thank much. You. Cheers. Well, David, it's all over, but that must be a really difficult choice to make. Why did you choose the cup? Well, there's so much potential here. Would you believe that this woman sold 7 million of these last year? The predicted sales for this year are 10 million. And would you have any top tips for next year's potential winner? Well, you've got obviously got to have something that's new, something that has commercial value. And it's most important that they actually think about presentation. Because if you can't sell it to the judges, you're not going to sell it to the consumer. And make sure you protect your idea thoroughly. Absolutely. If you've got a, a, a bright idea, Please don't go and tell your friends. Take professional advice first. Well, if you want any more information about the inventors and their inventions, visit our relaunched website at www.ukhorizons.co.uk.